Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. I have Denver point guard Ty Lawson with us and I just want to ask a quick question. That last night, that layup that Anna Wonder had, did you even see the rim? Yeah, I can see it. I bumped uh, Jordan Hill off. And yeah, you can see the rim just a little bit and I got it in there. Wow, I guess that's all you need. Well, you also had some great moves last night where you did a pick and roll and got the defender on your back. Uh, why don't you come out here and show us how you do that and how that works to attack? Okay, I, um, basically I call it putting them in jail. Because when you put them behind you like that, there's no way they can get around you, get to the ball, and they really can't affect what you're doing going forward. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So Ty, I'm going to set you a screen here with this chair. Do uh, you like it flat or in the side or on the, to the middle? What's your preference? My favorite type of screen is a flat screen because the defender that's uh, guarding the screener, he's not able to tell the point guard to push me to my left or to my right. Right, right behind me so I don't know where you're going to go. Yeah, exactly. And that's huge in the NBA because they like to push somebody one way or another. So in Satan's instance, you push me to my left. I would definitely, I would try to make a move, get you all balanced before I go into the screen so yeah. the screen can actually hit you. And when I come off to put him in jail, say you're getting around the screen, I'll probably hold you off right here. Okay. Since you're already behind me, there's no way you can get in front of me, you can't poke behind or anything. So if I go like this, what are you going to do? I'll just move like that, ah. move like that to a little bit. And when um, the big, the big's going to be right in front of me, so I have a chance to play one-on-one -on -one with this big, which I feel like in this league, with most point guards, there's no big that's really going to stand a chance. Uh, guarding one of us like that. So and now I can come down, I can either pull up, maybe get a foul like Steve Nash did me last night, or you can make a, uh, an in and out move, get the defense off balance, and get to the basket or pull up, which wow. I did last night. Talk about the dribble though. What do you have to do? I mean, you're, you're, there's defenders all around you at this point, right? Yeah. So how are you going to handle that ball so you don't get it stolen? Uh, I basically just keep it real low. Real low. Because you know, I feel like a 7 footer or a 6'10 guy is not going to get as low as me mm -hmm. to try to steal it. And if I just keep him behind me, there's no way he can get it if I keep it right here. So, I mean, it's, it's just that. You got to keep it low and in front of you. Cool. Well, why don't we do that in real time? Wow. That's tough to defend right there. What, what did you do to get me? I went like this, and you just, what did you do? Show the ball? Oh, just that's a, enough. Yeah. I'm like already, the, you know, my, my knees are buckling. Yeah, plus they think I'm gonna reject. So say they put, force me that way, yeah. I'll go like this, they gotta bite. Right. So I just bring it back. Yeah. And then that's where the screen get hit. Right. Because yeah. if I just go like this, you're just probably just gonna ride me. Not if I just go straight. Oh, right. Probably just gonna ride me like that and get away from the screen, it's no right. advantage. Right. So you have to set it up. Oh, yeah. So it feels like that, that when you set me up with this move, I don't have to go like this on that fake. All I have to do is go like this, and that's all you need, yeah. right? I just need to see the body lean a little bit, get you a little bit off balance. Okay, let's see it. So. Oh, that's it. Nice. Injury. Four of their key players are not playing tonight, but are all scheduled to be ready for the start of the season. Count it as Lawson throws it up and in, and he'll get the and one. Well, he's one of the toughest guys uh, getting to the rim. He's so quick and he's strong. He takes it right at Jordan Hill and concentrates on the target. He gets the basket and one. Nice job by Ty Lawson. So there you have it, sports fans. A pretty devastating move that's very difficult to stop. Uh, what do you call that? That move is called putting them in jail, you know, because they can't get in front of you. You have them exactly where you want them. And uh, you can play at your speed. You know, you see a lot of point guards doing that, but that's what I've been working on this summer. Yeah, and if you add that step back to it, forget about it. Now, tell us, where can we find you on social media to watch more of your stuff? You can find me on Ty Lawson 3 on Twitter, Instagram, and also Facebook. And also my uh, website is Ty Lawson 3 too, so you can follow me on all three of them. Well, there you have it, sports fans. And don't forget, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You in? You in, Ty? I'm in. <laughs>